Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Land. It is, uh, it's a great day for preparing for a Charlie raid. So that's what we're going to do. I still have to make a breaching charge. And if we take a look, I need 80 mass in order to pull this off. But, uh, and right now, oh, wait a minute. It should show me here. Yeah, I've got 31 mass available to me. So I think what I'll do is I'll just... Well, let's let the base build up a little bit of mass before I start trying to generate it. Just just because. I'm probably going to have to generate a whole bunch of mass anyways, but I figured let's try and make use of some of the auto-generation while we can. Um, in the meantime, just so that we're not sitting still, um, let's grab some of the other stuff we need. So, uh, ingot, board, six gears, and 80... Okay, well, first of all, let's grab this and let's see split that in half 62 and then just go uh, like that and then and then we just go 80 there we go and then um six gears wow i'm gonna have to start uh yeah i'm gonna have to start really um targeting rogues a lot more than i did before because <laughs> oh my goodness we got one of those oh we're gonna need um probably what is it two or three of them i can't remember oh, how many oh hey how much do I need for the, uh, to make a circuit board? Yeah, and I'm going to need to use mass for that, so. Oh, wow, I've got, oh, I didn't need that much, uh, copper. Okay, we'll get, uh, six of the, well, the electronic boards. Doo -doo. There we go. And now we can make one of these. And so we'll have that piece. Now, what else do we need? Um, actually, that's pretty well it. I think we've, uh, almost got everything we need. Except for the mass. So we, the mass we're going to... Uh, you know what? Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> we, we've got more important things to, to, to take care of. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to basically... Uh, well, I need 80. So there we go. That's another 40, right? And if I split that in half again, that's going to be another 20. 80. 84. There we go. That's perfect. I knew I kept these things around for some reason. Uh, let's see. You know what's going to happen, right? Uh, uh, Cold Games is going to come up with a reason to, uh, like another reason to use all these uh, weapons parts. So that, like uh, right now I have, well there's 110 in here and another 100, 210 of them. And uh, yeah, he's just, he's going to come up with a reason to have them. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, we'll get a breaching charge made. And then really the, oh wow. How come I, I keep forgetting to reload my freaking shotgun? Okay. All right. Now, um, so we still need to work a little bit on the entry, uh, the door entries. Uh, so that means things like Molotovs, grenades, grenades with arrows. Uh, I do need... Actually, let's put those over there. Um, you know, I should make a bunch more of premium arrows. Just, just... I like having them anyways. There's no mass required. It's scrap, iron, crystal, and premium feathers. So let's just grab half of the scrap. Uh, we'll grab half of the iron. Um, these premium feathers, there may be a few more. I don't know how many I'm gonna make. That's probably too many. Um, what was it again? Oh, and crystal, of course, crystal, crystal. We'll just grab a bunch of crystal. All right, and then we'll make a bunch of these uh, premium arrows. Because, you know, I, I don't mind ma I don't li mind having them. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus the two? Ten. Ten in total. That'll do just fine. I can live with that. Uh, oh. Oh, no. We're good. Oh, wait a minute. What? Wait. Do we have exactly a hundred now? That's funny. I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> that has to be a coincidence. Oh, and we're going to need uh, four more of these guys. Uh, I need to make another... Well, you know what? We're going to make two pickaxes. So that's eight. Man, the the demand on the uh, the, uh, the the scrap is real. Uh, four... Yeah. Oh, I need actually eight of those, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then we need uh, four of you. One, two, three, four. All right. And then we'll make a couple of pickaxes. Right? And how are we doing? Okay. We're, we're coming along with these guys. Now, the other thing I could do is I could make a couple of grenade-tipped arrows. There's only a few places I like to even use grenade-tipped arrows in, in a Charlie raid. Um, yeah. But 
it's not a big deal. I mean, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, let's see. We need, uh, what is it? One and two. Okay. Well, we've got a, let's just take a couple. And then, um, how many was it for the portage? Oh, that's right. Okay, I, I got it right. All right. And we'll just grab those, and then we'll just make a couple of the uh, grenade-tipped arrows. And the rest of these, we can put... Those. Oh, I can't? I can't put them back in there? I was just going to consolidate them, but what the hey? We'll consolidate them over here. We already have them. So we have a couple of extra pickaxes, so that's kind of nice to have. So I'm going to just... Here, let's put all this together in here, just as uh, our, our prep thing. Now, there is one more thing that um, I should probably consider, and that is the forward operating base. We have a forward operating base that's positioned here. Actually, let's take a quick look. Can we see it? Yeah, we can. Right there. That right there is a forward operating base. And it's it's basically, it allows me to come up around behind here and then go in here and I can, I can launch or I can base my uh, assault on Charlie's base from here. And it gives me some storage. It gives me a, um, a place from which to fight uh, you know, and defend myself and stuff like that, because these guys, you know, they're up on the balcony and yeah, it gets a bit hairy. Um, I don't know. I like having something close by that I can just deposit stuff to. Cause sometimes like when you, when you go in there and you clean them out, like you're running back and forth, your inventory gets full and yeah, it's just handy. It's just super handy. So the problem is I don't know how, I can't remember how far I got with that. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to worry about it. It's probably more than enough there already. I mean, I could look back in the footage and see what was there and what wasn't. And I might do that. Yeah. Okay. We'll deal with that when the time comes. We're not going up today, so... But what that means is that I might need some build supplies in here, right? So that I can build, like, a new roof or a wall or door or something, right? I'm not putting in windows, even the little slidey open door, win uh, open windows, because um, I need all the glass panels that I can muster for, for finishing the main task, which is basically building out this base and finishing up all the glass work. So we're not doing that. Okay. Now, how are we doing? We've got a bunch of arrows and grenade tipped arrows being, or actually not being made, that are made. There we go. And what is our mass at right now? It's at 27. To make a Molotov is 20, isn't it? You no, know it's 40. Oh. Well, how many how many Molotovs do I have? I have four. I'd like to have six. So uh, that means I need, what is it? It's two alcohol, if I remember correctly, per. Yeah, it is. It is. Two, al two alcohol, one cloth, and this is the hard part here. Four glass fragments. So we're going to grab two of you and... No, yeah. No, yeah. Okay. No, we're going to grab four of you. <laughs> uh, two of the cloth that... Wow, th my cloth overflowed. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, and then eight glass fragments. Oh, my goodness. This is this is the part that hurts. That's okay. I mean, we can, we can get more. I mean, there's... It's a, it's a never-ending uh, cycle. We, we, there, we're always... The, the lake's always producing sandstone. We just have to go get it. Mass, 40 mass. Do I want to do this now, or do I... Oh, you know what? I'm just I'm just going to do it. How about we... What are we going to recycle? I don't really have much left in here. Well, we've got these guys. But eight transceivers. Do we have a stack in here? No. Um, we could recycle scrap. <laughs> Actually, what I often recycle are... Um, Things like the electronic components and the uh, the nails. Now, our other choice is we just grab a bunch of uh, biofuel. Uh, let's, actually, let's clean this up. And yeah, let's put all this away. And I do like to keep one on me. But we, we just take a bunch of biofuel and we top up the uh, these guys here, the generators fire up all three of them and then we just turn this bad boy on for uh, a short little while. Now I have a tendency to forget uh, that this thing is on. Now it's this the thing about this thing is it, it draws 2.5 power and we are currently generating 3.8 so we're actually generating more power right now 
then is being pulled out. So 3.8 versus the total for the base is 2.99, and we're generating 3.8. That's a combination of uh, three is coming from 3.0 of the power is coming from the generators. They do one each for, with three generators. Three times one is three. Plus the 0.8 is actually what's being pulled from the solar panels and the uh, wind turbines. Which means I really do need to increase that because I would love to have more uh, solar power and wind turbines. I think that would I would make my life uh, a lot more um, enjoyable. <laughs> so uh, the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to make one more of you. And now we're down to, uh, what is that, 12 mass? 12 mass. Now what we can do, if in a pinch, what we can... What we can do is we can basically grab uh, these guys and burn them. Now, I don't think I'm going to use them today, but I'm just going to do it anyways. I'm going to just burn. I'm going to leave. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to put these in here and walk away, and we'll just pick them up later. Because I do like having uh, burnt meat kicking around for mass. Uh, I have run out of my... Uh, in here, I like over here... These guys, I have these left, but I don't know. I don't necessarily want to use... Oh, hey, how much is the medicinal? 0. 0.2 mass. Wow. Not much at all. Hmm. I mean, we could also, you know, we could uh, recycle the leaves. We could recycle all kinds of things. But, um, I, yeah, I don't... These guys, I like, you know, I do like having at least a few rogue transceivers kicking around. Oh, we got one more being made. Okay. Uh, 31. All right. It's almost ready. Here, let's just put this away. There we go. We got five. So, yeah, once once we're going to be done, we're going to have uh, a couple of pickaxes. That's just to finish off doors. We're going to have a couple. This is the this is the entry stuff, getting through doors. We've got uh, some... Um, uh, grenade tipped arrows we've got uh some molotovs i am going to take these arrows because i do like using the premium arrows for uh basically for for taking out it's kind of fun to take out hunters with them i don't do it very often but you know i do find it enjoyable 40 perfect okay so let's turn off the uh there we go make the last molotov and then we're going to spend the rest of the day um, gathering. Uh, I need wood. We need just general loot. Uh, you know, it's all the good, all the things that a that a, a growing hunter needs to to uh, keep his base running. <laughs> so, and who knows? Uh, maybe we'll get some. Well, do I need more than this? I think this is probably good. It's probably more than I need. Um, worst case scenario, what you do is you basically grab a whole bunch of shotgun shells. And you actually use the shotgun to go through. Which reminds me, I need to repair this. Which is yet more boards. Okay, two, two, and two. Uh, two, two, and two. What? No, I didn't. Oh, I meant boards. Okay. Uh, and now I'm out of boards. This is why I need to get wood. There we go. We've repaired that. Did you guys burn yet? Yes. Good job. Good job on the burning. Well done. Not well done, but burnt. But you know what I mean. Uh, and why do we do this? Of course, because each one gives us 4.5 mass, which, uh, you know, that's very handy. Uh, all right. I think we're in good shape. How's... Ruprecht, he's not there, hey? Okay. Do I want to go this way or the other way? Let's go this way. No, you know what? We went... Uh, we've been going... We've been going that way a lot lately. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Let's go, let's go a little different direction. Now, I don't have a lockpick on me, but that's mostly because we've been... Oh, my goodness. Okay. I do not... All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I should be more diligent about this. I do not need to be running around with 40-some-odd uh, SVT rounds. Oh, wow. We've overflowed again. You know, at this rate... I mean, I could just use SVT rounds to break through doors. At <laughs> 38... Oh, for crying out loud, I don't need 38 protein bars on me. 20 is fine. Um, I can get away with 11 arrows for today. Uh, and then we've got 58. We don't need 58 of you. We can go with 42. Uh, 42 is six reloads of the pistol, right? So, 
All right, good enough. Let's head out. Um, oh, you know, there was a really good comment um, regarding the... Okay, what are we dealing with here? What? Are you... Do you have something to say, Miss Chicken? Are you mad at me? Is that what's happening here? Is that why... No, you're not? You're just expressing yourself. All right. Okay. I got I got a cluck of... Uh, uh, I was being, I was getting a judgy cluck there for a second. That's what I heard. I was like, oh, well, so you're heading out, are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I do this all the time. I always head out. Okay, let's just gather wood. Leave the, oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're, you know what? The nice thing is that we might actually get that triggered because, um, so I think we're going to be going up to Charlie in the next one. And uh, the retaliation will be in the one after that. And they usually come down on this side of the base for retaliation. And we are nicely prepared and defended against them. But they like to hide behind this tree. So I'm hoping that they're actually going to uh, use that tree for defense. And I think that would be kind of cool. You know what? Let's go. Let's go over there. Yeah, let's uh, let's get away from the base for a little bit. Um, well, I mean, we're going to loot our way over there, and we are leaving. It, it is a little late in the afternoon. I did take a lot of time to do a bunch of that stuff, but... Um, yeah, yeah. What time? Yeah, the sun... That's, what, two or three in the afternoon? It's, uh... Oh. I'm not interested, bear. Okay. More scrap. And off we go. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, we're leaving it a bit late. I... Oh, did you hear that? Okay, that is Charlie. Oh, I got a wolf behind me. I got bears. I got another wolf. <laughs> I so wish that this game had, um, what do they call it? The, uh, free look. Can you not, can you hear that behind me? Where's the hunter? Where'd the hunter go? What? There was a hunter. He was... I heard... Yep, there he is. There he is. Where did he go? There. Ah. Oh. oh, he's... he's. Are you exclusively using... Exp my goodness. Are you seeing this? Another one? What are you going to use? Are you, you going to use another grenade-tipped arrow, buddy? Did he run away? Seriously, all those... How's the bear? You know what? I don't have time for your crap. I missed the first shot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so that's a Charlie uh, Fisherman. That's what that is, by the way. If you didn't, <laughs> it wasn't uh, plainly obvious. Okay. All right. We're just clearing things. How many? Seriously? All right. You know what? Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. All those animals that were chasing me, and not one of them uh, went after the, uh, the hunter that was coming up behind me. And then that hunter used grenade... How many grenade-tipped arrows did he use against my base? I mean, come on. Seriously? Is that fair? I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I don't think, now we need to get more wood. Now the, the need for wood is even greater because uh, I have to replace some pieces. <sighs> but the thing is, though, that the, the wall is doing its job. Okay, that's not... That's nothing, by the way. 
Um, that's the idea. Like it's it. The current wall is a wood wall. It's not very strong. Um, really, that's that's all. All it all it can do is sort of just uh, absorb damage, right? And it's easy to fix uh, because it is wood. It doesn't take much to to get all that wood. Um, I was thinking that I would come over here, and man, I got delayed. I got delayed. I was hoping to do a bit more looting over here. Because this, this area right through here is really good. Uh, especially right in this, like, this open field right here. But, I don't know. I'm not seeing a hell of a lot. I mean, I got a bear up there. Usually, like, you could see there's different things sort of littered throughout here, but there's not much. And the other reason why I came over here is because uh, there's a bunch of those... There's some nice trees, and it's actually not a bad place to come and gather wood. But we did leave it... Well, I left it a little bit late. So, um, yeah, let's just gather uh, a whole bunch of wood. Um, oh, there's a bear right there. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually fun. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. And I was hoping, oh man, I was so hoping that the uh, that if I aggroed all those animals, I mean, I had what, at least what a bear or two bear. Oh, there's a rogue camp there. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Well, you know what? Let's just get the bear out of the way. I don't want to go up the hill. Uh, if I go up the hill, I'm just going to anger some hunters, some rogues. And it's a little... Okay, I think we're good. It's a little late. Oh, except that I should be reloading this. I should be reloading all my guns. So we're going to take care of that. Uh, but it's a little bit late in the evening to be going after rogues. Um... Uh, I don't really like fighting them in the dark. Uh, the big problem is, there, you know, whenever you go up against rogues or something like that, there you are. I mean, there's a good chance you're going to die. I mean, even if you, even if you know what you're doing, even if you've done it many times before, um, there's a a good chance you're going to die. It's a bear. Okay. Sorry, I lighten up the screen for you so you can see better than I can. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Um, oh man, he's kind of... He's harshing my mellow, is what he's doing. He's in my flow. This is... I was hoping to get a bunch of wood over here. You know what? I'm still... No, I can't have this. You guys have been bugging me all day. And I just... All I want to do is gather wood. And you're just getting in my... You're harshing my mellow. That's what you're doing. Hey, look at all the fat that I've got, though. That's nine fat. That's actually really nice. All right, let's get a bit more wood, and then we're going to have to make the run back. It's going to be in the dark, but eh, I know the route fairly well. So I'm not too worried about it. Do, 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 do. I think everything's fine. The only problem is... Uh, wow. You know, the placement of those rogues is a bit crappy. Uh, oh, look, there they are right there. <laughs> and the reason why it's a bit crappy is that's kind of my route to get up to... Um, basically up to the Charlie base. My... my the, to get access to Charlie. They're kind of in my route. And... Well, I'll tell you what. What we can do is we can hope that they're going to respawn. Or despawn. Or... Is that a wolf? Oh no, it's a deer. Now, did I get this tree? I'm pretty sure I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hey, guys! Oh! <laughs> Did I just push that deer up the hill, and then now that deer is, uh... <laughs> uh let's take the low road. This is the low road. It runs along the water. It's these little rocks here. You kind of have to hop in a few places 
otherwise you get hung up. Uh, and I can sort of remember where those places are. And I did see that ore, but we don't have... Oh, time. Okay. Run, rabbit! It's dark! And the night is full of terrors! Okay. Some of them are for... Oh, almost ran into a tree. Uh, okay, I think what we can do is uh, double check that we're clear over here. Sometimes we've got animals that kind of hang around. And gather a bit more wood. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, uh, that... Uh, I was hoping that... Sometimes the, the, uh, they respawn in the evening. But nope. Nope. I left it too late. Okay, we'll get a get bit more wood. How much do we have? 45? Ah, it's not great, but it'll have to do. Okay. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a few boards, just so that we have some. There we go. And I need to get into the base. So, okay, sorry, I got distracted there. I need to wrap this up. We need to get in the base, get the night activities taken care of, because I don't want to uh, leave it too late in the morning. Because I want as much time as possible tomorrow for the uh, for going after the, the the Charlie base. That that's basically in a nutshell what what's going through my head right now is I wanna I wanna get as much done. I think we're ready. I think we could pretty well go up there. I mean, it's just a Charlie raid. It's not exactly super critical. Um, Generally, you just throw a bunch of ammo and stuff at it, and, and things tend to kind of work out. Um, now, what I am going to do, though, is I am going to cook uh, some steaks, because I am getting low on uh, basic protein. And we can do that, and let's get that topped up. Top that up. Now, we do... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I went to cook that. Uh, we do have um, big gaps in our defenses, but that's not a big deal. Uh, they, ca the ba they can't get into the base there. It's just sort of just opened up the wall a little bit. The foundations are still in place. We're, we're doing just fine as far as the defenses are concerned. So I'm not worried about that at all. Um, I'm just thinking out loud, though. I think we're fine. I think I'm fine as far as the everything else, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, all right, how about this? Let's just get this stuff done. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the plants sorted. Oh, man, I'm going to let that burn, aren't I? Okay, one, two... And we're just going to do water. Uh, this one gets water and and uh, fertilizer. Water and fertilizer. And just water. How you doing? You're doing good. Okay. And then I need some too. And then we come over and we rescue the meat. Do, 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 do. And then I eat a bunch of it to get my protein back up. Good enough. Uh, carrots. Yeah. And a water. There we go. All right. So the plants are taken care of. Oh, see that blue? That's a lens flare. It makes me think there's like hunters out there. Um, I need a couple for tomatoes and I need some more water for the rabbits. Uh, one, two. I need a couple of them. And then we need to do a, uh, uh, a rogue check. So we're going to... I'm just... I'm trying to hurry up so that I can get that done. Yeah, the light's already coming up. Did you see that? Okay. Quick. All right. The hunter base, hunter base. Ah, they've cleared out. So they aren't there. Oh, they... Nope, they're still there. Oh. That's okay. We can... We can go up through here. I think we'll be fine. Do they move? I could have sworn they were more over in this direction than, than that. Okay, well. I don't think we have to worry about the fact that there's a rogue camp down at the other end of the valley. And... Oh, and there's one over here. Right there. 
Yeah, I think we're in good shape. All right, in the next one, we're going to go up here. We're going to go up to Charlie. Uh, we're gonna. We do have some some people up in these trees here. That's fine. We can we can work around them. I think that's okay. Oh, you guys are fine. Yeah, grab f fertilizer. Let's get the water. Uh, just I just want to have as much time as possible set aside for going up to see Charlie. I mean, technically, I could be leaving right now. Oh, this is what I mean, by the way. This is fine. This, this is 500 out of 550-ish, uh, almost out of 750. Uh, this is 750. That's why I use foundations for this external stuff, because it's durable. Um, and I'll be able to defend the base even from this. Even if this is gone, I can still stand back over here. We can go up on the second floor. There's all kinds of things we can do to defend the base, so that's not a problem. Oh, let's get that light turned off and... Cook some water. Uh, let's put you away. Grab one for the road and put away the fertilizer. And I think I might just keep that tomato on me because I might get peckish. So there we go. All right. And, let's see, we've got you, and you, and we've got a few arrows, we can put those up there. Got some molotovs, got a couple of pickaxes, that's kind of sweet. And, you know what, I'm going to take a couple of canteens of water with me. Let's put that away. And what else do we want to take up there? Well, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we could make some more arrows, but I don't think we're going to need them. Um... I'm going to use the SVT because, quite frankly, I have so many bloody... I'd love to use the 44, but right now we have a lot of SVT rounds. So uh, the other thing is I, I do want to take a bunch of shotgun shells. Let's take 20 and... Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yep, this is happening. Uh, what have I got? Two, four... Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I think 16 is a nice round number for... <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's awesome. I do en I do enjoy the uh, <laughs> the slugs uh, when I go up against the uh, the hunters. So we've got all kinds of choices. We could, we could use uh, premium arrows. We could use slugs in the shotgun. Uh, my good, my stuff's reasonably in good shape. The pistol needs a bit of help, but it's, everything else is fine. Um, I think we're perfectly, uh, set up for, for the, uh, for raiding Charlie. So, yep, I'm really good with this. I think we're, I think I'm in I'm good shape. I think we're ready. All right, in the next one, we are going up there to deal with Charlie. Now, hopefully, sometimes you get retaliation from, uh, killing the fishermen. Like, sometimes they'll come down and raid you. Hopefully they're not going to do that. I'd prefer to just, you know, fight them up there. Uh, if I meet, like, five or six hunters running at my base from, uh, you know, while I'm running up there, yeah, that can be a pain. Or worse yet, I go up there, and while I'm up there, they all come run. They're already down here, and my base is getting attacked, and you get the idea. So, all right. I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.